In a now leaked call, President Trump urged Georgia election officials this weekend to, quote, find thousands of votes. Here's a clip of that call. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. Well, that call on Saturday lasted 62 minutes, and it comes just days ahead of Georgia's key runoff election that will determine who has control of the Senate. We're joined now by Bloomberg government's Emily Wilkins, who's on the ground in Atlanta, as well as Bloomberg White House reporter Josh Wingrove on the phone in D.C. It's great to have you both with us. Josh, I want to start with you and this Trump call. We just heard part of it. Uh, what else was said in the 62-minute call? <laughs> I mean, that was pretty much the sample. Trump went through series of what are essentially conspiracy theories that have either been disproven in court or not yet proven. Uh, many of them were struck down throughout the call by the Secretary of State and his staff, including his lawyer. Basically, Trump was pressuring them and sort of going back and forth between flattery and criticism, telling them that they needed to do something to find the votes. He, he thinks, he, he said at one point in the call that he won Georgia by 400,000 votes. There's simply no evidence of this. I would point out that Georgia, of course, has a Republican governor, a Republican secretary of state. They've already counted and recounted the results. They show the same thing, Biden won. And if you believe one other thing Donald Trump said on the call, it's that he thinks voters might not turn out on Tuesday because they aren't confident in the system. Of course, he's largely the reason they're not confident in the system. So he's warning that Republican turnout might be lower and therefore that those Senate races might be quite in play. Josh, what is the fallout from this call? I mean, you already have some Democrats right now already calling for impeachment and even threatening some, some legal action. Um, what repercussions could, could he face, if any? I, I mean, I think the most tangible repercussion will be on Tuesday, one way or the other. I mean, you know, Democrats, well, some of them have called for beginning the impeachment process again, although some have noted, look, you know, we would do this if it wasn't two weeks left in his term. Uh, you know, you know the, the legal experts uh, quoted in news reports on this seem to indicate that there's really, like, it would be a long shot at best to prosecute anything, uh, anyone on this. So I think really the question is, is Donald Trump sowing enough doubt among Republican voters in the system in Georgia, which again is Republican-led, that they might not bother showing up on Tuesday? And in, in that case, of course, if Democrats win both those seats, they take control of the Senate, and that would be a, a disaster for a lot of Republicans, particularly Republicans who sort of held their nose at these moments of Trump, thinking that, you know, as long as we have the Senate majority, we'll make it through. Well, speaking of those Republicans, what are we hearing from those Republicans? Are, are any of them actually criticizing this call, or are they standing in lockstep with the president, as they, many of them have over the last four years? The usual suspects are criticizing the call, but beyond that, uh, you know, it, not a lot. And, of course, we've got this new group that emerged over the weekend, uh, led by Ted Cruz, uh, about uh, 11 of them, 10 or 11 of them, who will on uh, tomorrow, I guess, or Wednesday, excuse me, on the 6th, uh, object to some of the states that they believe are disputed. That has prompted pushback from Republican officials saying that they don't think that's a particularly uh, conductive or a constructive move, that they think that you know, this, this is normally a formality for the House to accept the electors from the states to turn it into this political event they think is going to open up a can of oil. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.